Okay, thank you. Good morning on my behalf as well, and I hope you have enjoyed this lovely sunny weather the whole week. And now the uh, very inspiring discussions here with the resource efficiency. Yes, uh, I will just uh, uh, tell you just a little bit about the framework we have, or that kind of a policy goals and policy tools we have for the resource efficiency. I was thinking about running them very quickly, and now I will <laughs> really speed up and run them extremely quickly. But never mind, you, will, you can have that kind of a little bit uh, impression what we have. So this is the content of it. So we have very many strategies where the resource efficiency is uh, uh, emphasized. And then I just open a little bit of some of those tools we have. So, well, we have a new government and we are very happy to have a new government program where uh, the circular econ for, for, firstly the circular economy is somehow the basis for the economy and then we will uh, uh, it is said that an ecologically sustainable Finland will show the way in mitigating climate change and protecting biodiversity. So the resource efficiency is actually a very key role in this, achieving the climate change uh, or the climate policy uh, goals and also the biodiversity goals. And circular economy is also one of those measures. So it is said in our new government program that they will uh, that the use of natural resources will be responsible and actually also re reducing use of natural resources. And we have also new ministries, the Ministry of the Environment and Climate uh, come from the Green Party. Uh, she is uh, Krista Mikkonen. Mikkonen. And then uh, I will show you just some of those programs we have. Uh, and maybe I start with the uh, sustainable consumption programs. It was already published first in 2005 and uh, the main part or somehow the main impact is that we got then the material efficiency center and there was also the promotion of clean tech solutions and also the promotion of sustainable public procurement. And then also in our uh, national waste plan uh, resource efficiency is very much promoted because, of course, when we uh, discuss about the waste hierarchy, the prevention of waste is the first step. And that is totally related to the reverse efficiency. And then we have a new plastic roadmap. And there is also the reverse efficiency is promoted through several actions of it. So it is the re uh, somehow the impo improve the efficiency of plastic recycling and also to fight sustainable solutions to replace the plastics. So there is also the places where we can somehow make the innovation and, and uh, promote the resource efficiency. And then of course our national roadmap to circular economy, which uh, first was published in uh, 2016 uh, and then it was updated this spring. And this is uh, from the first one. Uh, uh, there was five focus areas and then there was, uh, there was identified concrete actions, best practices and pilots and it was really to boost the circular economy in Finland and resource efficiency was one of those uh, targets because it was said that the targets are summarized from the environmental perspective there was the first one was the resource efficiency will improve significantly. This was the vision for the 2025 in the roadmap. And there you see somehow the, uh, the other targets uh, compared to, uh, or related to the environmental perspective. So the uh, material cycle will become more efficient and it was uh, to somehow to promote the Finland's ecological sustainability and also the competitiveness. And now this is from our new roadmap which was updated this spring. And there, there was four strategic targets and four visions for the key pa players and then 26 measures. And uh, one of those four strategic targets is uh, natural resources are regarded as scarcities. So that is really uh, means that we need to be resource efficient. And if we uh, look a little bit closer to that target, the key measures to promote it are uh, returning materials to the cycles again and again and then uh, so closing the loops and the material efficiency of the products as was uh, mentioned also or underlined in the previous uh, commission's uh, presentation. 
And I really think that uh, when we now have been, for example, in the EU uh, circular economy package and also in Finland we have quite a lot concentrated now to the waste policy issues and the waste legislation. Now I think the next uh, circular economy 2.0 will be uh, more, we need to focus more on the product policy and the resource efficiency. So that really will be, we need to find the tools for that and the policy instruments for that one. So we really now are turning to the, uh, somehow the beginning of the loops. Not, of course we need to still take care of the waste policy issues, but to the product policy is one of those. And then also the circular economy business models. And then our national material efficiency programs, we have got two and actually before that we got that kind of a strategy for the uh, natural resource use, which was kind of uh, the first one. So there is also, of course the target is to increase the material efficiency and at the same time the competitiveness of the companies. And uh, how to do this? Uh, there is uh, three main measures, I could say. So the voluntary material efficiency commitments and the material efficiency auditing and industrial symbiosis and fish network. And we have our first material efficiency commitment is between the food and drink industries federation and commerce federation and with several ministries. And here is from the fish you know and Paula Escola will tell you more about it. I really appreciate this. This is something which I'm always so proud of. And then also we have the marketplace for waste and side streams, materialitori.fi, and Paula will tell that also more about it. And then just to mention some other uh, tools and policy instruments. So I think the public procurement is very important because there is a lot of money going in the public spending. So there we have. Uh, Gain a competence center for sustainable and innovative public procurement to help uh, those public sector uh, people and, and cities and municipalities to find the right way to, to uh, make the public procurement so that it is circular and, and innovative. And then also Green Deal piloting. Uh, first one was the plastic bag agreement and then we have with the uh, car industry or, or the car sellers, and there, there is now at the moment there is uh, over 10 green deals which are negotiated. And then of course the funding, just to mention, we have a business Finland as you may know already a lot about. Then I still would like to add one, uh, even if it's not here, that the fiscal uh, instruments, because it, of course it's the prices which are somehow steering our uh, action, whether it is uh, producers or consumers, so I think that we need to have that kind of uh, maybe a tax shift towards uh, tax shift towards more sustainable consumption and production ways, but it is of course very hard and that is something which we need to do at the national level, but to have kind of a common uh, approach for it. So thank you very much. This was just some mention some about what we have as uh, infrastructure here. Thank you. <laughs>